In a world where everything is faster, louder, bigger, better. Not too many people skip in the Hall of Fame. One man is dancing sure to the click of his own spurs. <laughs> Been a long time since I skipped anything but lunch. Baxter Black is a cowboy by trade. Now let's go where the action is. He's got the look, but he's not the kind of cowboy you read about in history books. I'm a cowboy poet. Actually, it's sort of like being self-unemployed. Actually, Black has the market cornered. His brand of farm humor attracts herds of fans. Well, I don't recognize you. Well, I think Black, Black, God, I'd like Thank you. What makes his stories unique? I got arrested in the Orange County Airport <laughs> for molesting a stamp machine. Is that they are all true. Each one has a punchline. Let me think what it said. D's Lounge and Feed Store, beer and baby chicks to go. Something like that. Getting there is just part of the journey. Black grew up in New Mexico. He dreamed of becoming a veterinarian. I can fix your cow. And it worked. It worked for a while anyway. I walked down the Valley Highway in Denver, five miles in the middle of the night between two eight-lane highways, right down the center of it was a bottle of tequila. By his late 20s, he found himself laid off again. Worse yet, his heart was broken. You know, there are forks in the road. I don't believe in fate. I believe in forks in the road. Black headed west with a new dream. Because you got to write about what you know. He turned a hobby into a full-time gig. When he's not in the spotlight, Man, I walked in the door and I was telling my girlfriend, I said, honey, I said, that's Baxter Black. I said, I wonder what he's doing here. He's gathering new material. Well, it's On, a long story. It is a very long story. <laughs> We've got time. <laughs> like all of Black's stories, his finally has a happy ending. You write about what you know. You know, because it's the truth and humor that makes it funny.